Incoming transmission. Picture this. A recording studio somewhere far, far away. Welcome, Watchers of Illusion, to my Castle of Confusion. It's Monday the 3rd of September and I'm looking at a NES absolute classic called Mega Man. Oh yes. One of my favourite NES games of all time, as it happens. Um, I remember the day I got this on my NES. I'm, I can't remember how old I would have been, but I was only uh, sorry, a wee nipper. I was, I was a wee nipper, probably more of my sort of early teens, I would have thought, thought at this point. And uh, getting out of the box and putting the cartridge into the uh, the NES console itself, and then loading this up, absolute pure joy. What a great game! But what a blooming hard game, I'm going to say as well. Um, so I'm going to get as far through as I can in a roughly sort of a 10 minute span and see what we can do. So here we are. This is your character. This is Mega Man, the uh, the blue dude on the screen, who's now climbing up the ladders. The uh, screen layout's great. But the plot basically is that Dr. Wily, oh yes, I don't think it was Dr. Willy, but it's actually not, it's Dr. Wily, <laughs> Dr. Wily, and uh, basically you have to go through several other creations, so I've chosen Cut Man because, quite frankly, it's probably one of the easiest ones to go for first. Now, as you unlock uh, various aspects of the game, so basically once you've defeated a character, you can take on their ability. So certain characters that you defeat will help you defeat other certain characters a little bit easier than your standard blaster which you can see here um, so yeah Cutman I believe if you uh, if you defeat when you defeat Cutman uh, and you take on his ability which is to chuck scissors around the room by the way um, then you can go on to I think defeat electric man I think is the uh, I think is the one that the, that uh, that one will go against and knock off a lot more energy than your standard uh, hand cannon. So yes, and uh, so that that's interesting. And you've got to go through and try and figure it out yourself because there's not really any hints in the manual or anything that tells you which uh, which ability is going to help you out. So it's all potluck. But yeah, you can uh, take on the aspects of the other characters. You get these little power ups as you go as well. So you get these drops as you uh, as you play. Uh, so the yellow ones are health drops, you can see your health up there in the top left hand corner and then you get blue drops which will power up your weapon uh, when you've actually got one from the uh, characters because your, your hand cannon cannot be upgraded or doesn't need replenishing with ammo I should say um, which is basically what the blue things would do if you had your uh, opponent's weapon enabled I'm hopefully going to show you that anyway because I would like to uh, I would like you to have a look at that. Anyway, so the controls are fairly simple. It's uh, left and right and jump, basically. There's, um, when you're on ladders, you can go up and down. That's the only instance you really need up and down. You can't sort of jump any higher or anything like that. So that's the control system for Mega Man. Uh, you've got fire and jump, and it's just such a sim simple, simple control system, and it works really nicely. It's very, very tight, and uh, there's not any room for error, so when you are leaping your way around the levels you've got no problems with getting um, controls mixed up or unresponsive controls ever which is nice now these big balls of energy will give you practically a whole life level back which is really nice once you run out of all energy you will just explode which is not nice so uh, yeah, that's basically the premise the uh, I'll tell you some of the graphics are lovely I really like the Mega Man graphics they're very very cutesy and uh, this is one of many games. I think there was Mega Man 1, 2, and 3, I'm tempted to say, on the NES. I uh, definitely had Mega Man 1 and 2, but uh, 3. I haven't really played any of the Mega Man games, but they are on my list to do. So the, the SNES versions and all that are also coming uh, on the channel at some point in the near future. But I, I, I love this game. So if you're a platforming fan, this is an absolute dream for you guys. You'll really enjoy this game. And here we are, we are now approaching the first boss room. So basically once you're through here, that's it, you go through this little sort of tunnel, uh, defeat these uh, pop-up things, uh, turrets I should say, uh, and to get actually get to the boss room itself. 
very simple. The other thing that's really nice about this game is the music is awesome. You get different music for every level as well, which is really cool. Um, and it just it just really sets the scene. Now the blocks you can see there are actually able to be thrown around using another ability from another guy. And there's Cutman himself, so he's got his energy bar there. Uh, so he's going to chuck his scissors at us on a, a regular basis. So we're going to try and hit him as much as possible without getting hit ourselves. You can see he takes quite a chunk of energy off if he manages to hit me. And it's just, he's, he's got ridiculous range on those scissors. So we can try and keep him at the top and just blitz him down without him getting a shot off would be great. Um, there we go, we defeated him. So there's his power ability that we're going to pick up there. When you actually um, want to use that power ability, I think you, you press select in the game and then you get another menu. But I will show you that in just a moment. Let's see how we go. And uh, But yeah, I want to show you a different level. I'm going to see if we can get Electric Man as well. You get a bonus to your score as well, which is always nice. There you go, Elec Man, sorry. Elec man. There he is. Looks really cool. I love that. Like I said, I love the graphics. They're really nice. Uh, they're really, really cutesy little superhero type characters. They're really, really nice. Uh, level design as well is really, really quite nice. It's going to keep you going. There's a, there's a couple of frustrating areas, if I remember rightly. Um, here we go. Here's Cutman's ability. You just uh, select that. And you can see Mega Man himself turns a different colour when you select that ability. Now, uh, you do have an ability bar, which you can see there on the top right-hand side. It's next to your power, uh, your energy bar. Every time you use an ability, you uh, lose some of that. So to replenish that, you're going to have to find the uh, ability pickups, and it will replenish that. Those are quite, quite, I suppose, quite, um, quite common. You'll see quite a lot of those dropping, which is nice. Um, but yeah. This is this is just a pure joy to play, folks. If you haven't played Mega Man yet, then um, try and pick it up. It's a great game, and it's probably one of those staple games on the NES that you probably want to pick up and play yourself. I'm gonna switch back to being normal Mega Man now. Um, but yeah, if you if you're a platform fan, you're definitely gonna love this game because it's gonna tick all the right boxes for you. Um, Difficulty-wise, it's not too bad. I would say that it's probably suitable for most young players and older players as well. Um, oh yeah shoot those because they're annoying but yeah uh, like I said most uh, suitable for most age groups suitable for most player uh, experience as well so if you're a novice this is a great, great game for you and the difficulty level is a nice curve so you're not going to get too frustrated with it too quickly that's a power block there that big blue flashy thing so yeah it's worth a go and um, there's a puzzle element as well which I'm about to show you here probably really badly by the way um, but you need to find your way over to the other side of the screen and to do that you have to try and negotiate these blocks which will disappear and reappear there we go now we're, which way are we going oh I've just fallen down the screen that's not good oh no I've gone <laughs> oh dear all the way back down there didn't really want to be doing that but never mind it doesn't take long to get back up again frustrating you will encounter these little frustrating bits over your gameplay I can assure you of that did you have Mega Man during the day? Have you still got Mega Man? Have you ever completed Mega Man? Um, I think I got to Dr. Wily once, but I can't remember if I defeated him or not. I don't think I did, um, but I definitely got to him. I think it must have been like my last life, and I just lost it, and that was it. I, uh, I must have put the controller down in disgust. But there we go. But yeah, if you had Mega Man, let me know what you thought of the game. Leave, leave me a comment, and I shall get back to you. Um, I've... Uh, really enjoyed reading some of your comments recently so thanks very much for leaving those I do appreciate it um, on Wednesday's review I have uh, finally got round to having a look at um, Aladdin on the Mega Drive and I've got to say well I'm gonna leave you in suspense because you know what you'll find out what I've got to say on Wednesday but uh, it's all ready to go just got to uh, yeah just gotta wait till Wednesday folks but it's coming and I'm so glad that you guys recommended it for me thank you so much because it's uh, I, I'm not saying another word. Just not saying another word. Anyway, guys, this has been Mega Man on the Nintendo Entertainment System, or the NES, or the NES, or NES, or however once you want to say it. Hope you've enjoyed the review. Thanks very much for tuning in. Hello to existing subscribers. You guys rock. And hello to new subscribers. Thanks very much. Hope you enjoy the channel. Have a look around. See if there's any other reviews that you like the, lo like the look of. Leave me a message. I'm always available. And I will always get back to you. So thanks very much, guys, and I'll catch you on the next review. Until then, keep it retro, and bye for now!